Today, we will show you a MATLAB to Simulink workflow example. We begin with a MATLAB script and show the steps to convert to a Simulink model. In most organizations, many teams may contribute to the same project. For example, the systems engineering team adopts model-based design workflow. They create their application in Simulink so they can easily transition from a simulation to cogeneration to verification and even deployment. Very frequently, the systems engineering team gets advanced algorithms from their corporate R&D team, who uses MATLAB for algorithm development. The system engineering team needs to integrate their colleague's MATLAB algorithm into their Simulink model. Here, we use a generic application to illustrate how to convert a MATLAB script into a Simulink model. In this example, our application models target creation, deletion, and visualization. The targets could be drones flying in random directions in 3D space. Moving drones are created, and their trajectories are updated and plotted every time step. When they get out of range, they are then, we then delete them. We use a global memory to store the information of all the live targets. At the top of the MATLAB script, we use this global variable db to store all current live targets, their positions and velocities. We then instantiate three system objects that are used in a for loop. The system object create range bounded target is used for creating targets. The system object delete out of range target is used for deleting out of range targets. And the system object view targets is used for viewing live targets. The global variable db is used for communicating live target information among these system objects. To make the application more interesting, we have two MATLAB packages for defining targets that move at different speeds. MATLAB packages are special folders that can contain class folders, functions, and class definition files, and other packages. The names of classes and functions are scoped to the package folder. This for loop is the main MATLAB implementation. Inside, we create targets, delete out of range targets, and visualize all live targets. After that, all live target locations are updated with the MATLAB function update all target positions. We can now see the code in action, creating and destroying drones as they fly outside the bounds that we've defined. Now, we convert our MATLAB script to a Simulink model. To do this, we map our MATLAB constructs into Simulink blocks. The global DB is mapped onto the data store memory block, DB. This MATLAB system block, target creator, is equivalent to the system object create range bound target in MATLAB. MATLAB system block, target deleter, is equivalent to the system object delete out of range target in MATLAB. The simulink display block is used to show the deleted target at any given time. The MATLAB system block target viewer is equivalent to the system object view targets in MATLAB. The MATLAB function update all target positions is implemented using the MATLAB function block update targets. And finally, we use simulink functions to provide the same scoping abilities as the MATLAB packages we see before. Since the Simulink model runs naturally in a loop, the model stop time dictates the number of time steps to be run. This is equivalent to using the for loop in our previous MATLAB script. Once again, we can run the simulation, and we can see that we've recreated the behavior using Simulink. This example is shipped in 22A. Our documentation also provides a very useful table for mapping MATLAB constructs to Simulink constructs, so you can perform this mapping yourself in the future.